What do we got? On now we're never Camino Rich, and there he is, Camino the champ. Rich, <laughs> Mike Tyson in the house. What's up, guys? What's, What's up, up man? Mike? Good to see you, I'm champ. Good. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. I love this relaxing feet up. Oh man, this Tyson is a Ranch. Day. Yes. You're a businessman now, huh? That's what they say. They said that. Yes. Does that mean you have a briefcase when you come in? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> How does it feel to be a businessman? Rich and I have a theory that the worst thing about it is, is like meetings. We feel like nothing ever gets done. Do you like going to meetings? I love meetings. You do? I think a lot get done in the meetings. And um, I just like to just be simple. It's come to work simple. I like meetings because we, we get to eat. That's the only good part of free the meeting. Food yeah, free food most at of the time. the meetings? Yeah. No way. I never got no free food at the meeting. Now, Mike Tyson. You're part of a football league now, too. Yes, so every yes. time this, every time you, you, you see Mike Tyson, he's doing something new. Yes, this is true. This is true, because I realized that you have to make yourself irrelevant. Yes. In the world, not necessarily for people to know that you're relevant, like, hey, look at me, but just to be irrelevant for your existence. Reinventing yourself. More so just for existing in life in general. Right. Just being a celebrity or being getting some money, just to have a motivation to exist. So it's the fan-controlled football league. Yes, that's what it's called. And you're an owner. Yes, I am. Tell us how it works. Um, I have a team. Yeah. Um, there's other team owners with team, Marsha Lynch and all these guys, right? And Richard Sherman. And um, we're going to get advice from the fans, and the fans are going to put in their two cents, and we're going to use the, make some of the plays that the fans say use, of yeah. course, and we're going to see what happens. So the fans are like offensive coordinators, kind of. It kind of looks like tech mobile growing up where you get to call the play. OK. Right. I know, but you might call a play, and I listen to your play, and I say, hey, listen, this play, this play is not going to be successful for reason one, two, and three. Right. And I might say, <laughs> off. <laughs> I love that. Right. So what do you expect next for the football league? Tell us uh, where your mindset is on that and what's next. I want to have the best team in the league. And that is my whole objective in, in life. Is to, I don't know, like I said, my ego again, is probably to compete and be the best, to, to believe that I'm the best, to be the best, to want to be the best. And to be the best in what? Because all that I, I fight for and to possess, eventually you have to give it all away. You have to let it all go. All right, so we're going to do something called First Thought with Mike Tyson. Okay, go okay. for it. I want to do First it. First Thought here at the Tyson I'm Ranch. I'm ready. Here we go. Ready. What do you think of when you see this? Youth. My youth. Iron Mike. Yeah. Youngest heavyweight champion of the world. Yes, this is true. 007-373-5963. That That's the code. code. I don't know if that makes me pathetic or awesome. Or You're maybe really a little... pathetic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did beat you, though, in oh, the I, game. I hear that. I respect in, that. I know, in the I game. I respect that. All right. What about this, Mike? Oh, that's Kenya. That's my cat. Most people have a little cat. You had a white tiger. Yeah. How does that happen? Um... One day I'm in prison and I'm calling my car dealer from prison and he said um, this other friend of mine had owed him money so if he doesn't come he's going to sell his cars that he have and buy some animals like some horses and stuff. And I said, really? You can buy some horses? How about some of my cars? Can I sell some of my cars and get some horses? He said, yeah, you can get some tigers. And I said, whoa, are you serious? Tigers. And then um, I got, as soon as I came out I got some tigers. He hooked me up with the guy and gave me some tigers. You wouldn't have, you're not the type of guy now, though, that would still want a tiger, are you? Well, I have small kids now, I couldn't do right, it. Right, yeah, you can't do that now. All they, right. they, they get attached to you. How about this? No, nobody around you. Oh, these are pigeons, yes, I have pigeons. Do you still have a love for yes. pigeons? Yes, I have around 2,000 pigeons. You still have them? Yes. Do you still train them? Yes. Wow. I still watch, go to see them flying. Do stuff. the kids love that, too? I don't know. You don't know? You don't, do you share that? Is that something that Mike Tyson does? Alone, like by himself? Well, normally, yes. So I try to do some, but they're kind of scary. The kids are scared of them. Right. You have to really be in, it's just a different kind of stuff. What about this? The cast of The Hangover. What do right. you think? That's pretty awesome, I think. Was that part of the path of Mike Tyson reinventing himself? As you no, said before? No, um, they reinvented me. I didn't plan to be on the show. They said, we're going to put Mike Tyson in this and this. What happened? Was that a, a, a great challenge for you, or is that just fun for you? Hey, um, I was just there doing the job. I was probably loaded doing the job anyway. I was to party back then, and I didn't take it serious. Then when it came out, it was a big movie. And um, so I got, I got um, thrusted back in the spotlight again.
And that led you back to Broadway, which was I, awesome and incredible. Absolutely. Right. Do you like being in the spotlight? Yes. And um, it's interesting that you say that. It has to be something psycho psychological because um, how do I explain it? I like, um, I like being on display. I like um, working in front of the camera. But I don't like the fact that I like doing that. Does that make sense? Yeah. You don't like that you need that, but you need that. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Why do I do this? Why do you? Why do you think you do it? I don't know. It has to be my ego. Yeah, ego is not your amigo, as they say. Yeah, it has to be that. It has to. Have, it may give me some sick thought that I need to be seen and I need to be hear myself talk. It's really sick stuff. I when, don't understand it, but it's what I am, I guess. When you still hit the bag, do you do that still or no? No way. Why not? I don't know. That's not who I am anymore. Do you, like, do you look at? Do you watch boxing now and think yeah. that you could still compete at all or no? No way. I never look at it like that. I would look at it from a competitive perspective. Did you take that competitive perspective and now transfer it into the business? I like to take it, I like to say I'm more rational now. You know, I wasn't too rational when I was fighting in the boxing. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I, I can look at my own mistakes. So you learn from that Absolutely. in the business yeah. world. First thoughts? This. This is a great moment of my life. I really love that man. He's the greatest fighter that ever lived. He's really awesome. How do you feel when you're hanging with guys like us and we feel that way about you? My personal belief about myself is not as um, grand as my ego believes that I am. And, and what does Mike Tyson think when he sees when this? You see people putting your face on stuff oh, online. Oh, no, what's happened to that guy? <laughs> <laughs> when you see people putting your face on stuff, online, on Twitter, on Instagram. Do you, do you like it? You get a kick out of it? My wife loved it. Yeah. <laughs> do you they guys get a good look laugh? like Oprah and Gail King and stuff. Yeah, I saw you yeah. reach out to Snoop Dogg, because didn't they take you and Snoop yeah, or something like, like Oprah that? Yeah, Oprah and Gail. So you get a good kick out of that? Yeah, I don't take myself too serious. That's great, man. That's great. So when you got the podcast, Tyson Ranch, the Football League, you know, the pigeons, all this stuff going on, what is the one thing that makes Mike Tyson the happiest? What's the the greatest thing for you to do? Um, I don't know, my kids. I hang out with my kids. Family. So I have a relationship with them. That's great, Mike. Well, listen, man, a pleasure, a pleasure getting to talk to you. Thank you. Thank I you very Tyson much. Tyson Ranch, the football league. Yeah, that's going to be pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to that. Continued stuff. success on everything, man. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. The champ, Mike Tyson. Now Thank or never. You. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. I was doing all these interviews. I thought this was going to never end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>